Look at all this mess. Finally, I have my solar panel on my roof. And the workshop is even worse. I had to entirely change the flood pump that's going down there. You will also see what this thing here is. Pretty interesting, right? I've also made a new table here outside, but this is also a mess. And the barbecue site is almost over and already used four times. I've covered the pool to have some shade. Also the batteries with the inverter. And in my studio, I have the moon as background, which also moves. And still, I haven't had any other tool on my wall. There's a lot of work to do. Okay guys, in this new workshop update, let's see what stuff, new stuff I have, why the workshop is in such a mess. 10 years of projects and everything is on the floor. What's with the new studio, the lights, and also the solar panel on the roof and a lot more in this update. So let's get started. Okay guys. So let's start with why my workshop is in such a mess and why I have so many things on the floor. Well, because I don't have enough time for anything. You see, in the last like four months, I've been remodeling my home, the upstairs part for me to live in, the bathroom, the kitchen, the pool outside, everything that I have, I've been remodeling that. So I didn't have time to make videos. And that means I haven't earned anything. Not just that, but all my savings went into buying this house. So right now I need to work a lot. So I'm focusing on making videos to get money, to get paid. And I don't have time to arrange everything. Not just that, but everything that, that I make now in my workshop is custom made. The tables that I'm making are welded and cut to size. The walls that I'm making are cut to size and also specially made for all the tools. All the furniture that I'm placing is sometimes custom made. So that requires a lot of time which I don't have. And not just that, this is a mess for a bunch of reasons. First, obviously, I don't have time. I have to take care of my daughter. I have to work to make videos. I also have to work on the house because it's not yet ready, especially the outside part. I still have a lot of remodeling to do. And then my father also moved to a smaller apart apartment and I had to take all his tools. So everything that you see here on the floor is stuff that I had to take from my father's house because there are a bunch of tools that are very expensive, for example, these drills that we'll see maybe in a moment. So everything that's here on the floor, I hadn't had time to arrange it, arrange it on my wall because, because I just got this like three weeks ago and I had no time to go through them because I have to take each part and see what it is and where to place it. So imagine that. And on the side of the workshop is because I've made a project for mounting the solar panel, which I'll show you in a moment. I used the drill, there are a lot of metal chips on the ground and all the tools that I've used, I didn't have time to, um, to clean it. So everything is here on display. That's why I have it like this. So I'm not sure when I'll have time to clean it and make another video, imagine that. That's why everything is a mess. So as you can see guys, for me, like the worst part of the day is to decide what I will do in that day. Because usually I have each day like three to four hours of time for me to work. But if I choose to arrange the workshop, I don't have time to work and I don't have a video for the end of the week or the month. So I won't get any money and without money, I can buy stuff for the workshop or pay down the mortgage. So it's very hard to decide what I'll do in each day, especially when I'm, I'm under pressure to keep working. Oh, and by the way, let's not forget about the new stuff because I have a lot of stuff to do, but each week, almost each week, there is something new. For example, this week, we had a huge problem with the electricity on the entire street. We had to make a lot of changes and there are still changes to do on the electric panel there. So yeah, each week there's new stuff coming in. Anyway, let's go upstairs and check the solar panel and see what new stuff we have. God damn, there's a lot of light. So this, what you'll see here on my roof is just the beginning because it's just one panel and soon I'll add a lot more. So here's the solar panel, 500 watts, something a little bit more than 500 watts. I'll add more in the future. And I'll have a dedicated video on how I've made the support, how to hook the panel, how to wire it to the breakers and to the inverter and so on. So yeah, that's the new update of my home. And I would like to add a lot more uh, panels. So let's go downstairs. By the way, it's a huge bug. Está atacando los paneles. No! He attacked me and I had to hit it. Sorry, sorry, bug. It was not my intention to kill you. Not too much with his death. Semi dead. Anyway, in the video, I'll explain why I've made a custom made support because, like, almost $200 for one support like this one, and there are just metal bars, screws, 
and some washer so water won't go inside so I said to myself I have a lot of metal bars I just I will just make it myself by the way another update the reason they have so many metal bars I'm not sure if you remember but I last year we bought a terrain and I wanted to make like a container home but then we I had to sell to sell the terrain because we needed the money for this house so now since I bought like 2000 euros of metal I have it all here stored I had to cut it to three meters because I had to move it with my father's uh, car um, and it's not that big so yeah now it will sit here till I'll find some place to add it below in the workshop and here we have the inverter with two batteries because it's a 24 volts system this is the input from the solar panels and right now it's generating power but it's not connected to anything my plan in the future is to add more batteries more solar panels and maybe supply my entire home but not for now because this only gives 2400 watts so for now maybe i'll supply the heater for the water so i will save some money and since the batteries are fully charged i'm not sure if i'm generating something 41 volts and zero amps so not uh, 31 watts but yesterday I was I was generating 350 watts because the batteries were were almost full and I will try to just waste some of waste some of the power so I could charge them and see how much power I could generate because uh, technically the solar panel could give up to 500 and something watts so we'll have to see that so probably you're wondering why I have batteries for my system because this should not be an off-grid system because I already have electricity in my house well that's because something that I told you in my previous update because my uh, workshop got flooded so we have a problem here when in summer when we have big rains my workshop might get flooded right now I fix it so maybe it won't but anyway I have a pump here which by the way I have to change it and in a moment I'll show you that will get all the water that's getting in it will get it out because this is under the level of the terrain so the problem is that when we have big storms there's a lot of water so the workshop might get flooded but also we have power outage so if I have a power outage there's no way to power on the pump so even if I have a, a pump I won't be able to use it so what I want is to have always stored some power in those batteries maybe for a few hours and be able to connect the pump if there is a power outage during a storm that's why I have it like that with batteries so it's an off-grid system but a system that I will connect using something that I will show you right now I will be using this this is a transfer interrupter and as you can see it has the logo for a solar panel and the main grid so basically you connect the usual the normal grid here and this will be the normal power but when there is a power outage you can connect a generator or a solar panel here and it has an auto mode which i won't use because sometimes i have here like a power down for like just a few seconds so this will jump on and off but i will use it manual so when there is a power outage i can just switch it and my entire home will get supplied from the inverter so in that way i can have power for my chargers for my phone for example for some led lights and also for the water pump that i have here so this is very useful in that moment because it will separate the entire input grid from my home and it will just connect it to the inverter so pretty cool for like 30 to 40 dollars uh, and now for the rest of the workshop updates i've made a new table and first i wanted this table to use it for my printers because they make a lot of noise but in the end <laughs> i like it so much because of the height the storage below and also i've added here some light so i can it doesn't work oh because it's switched off let me switch it on there you have it so now we have light so now that i have light the storage and everything and the height is perfect for working uh, standing i'm gonna use it for like machining cutting because you see when you cut metal you make a lot of chips of metal which i don't want in my workshop so since this is outside and it's very easy to clean i'll just keep this table for cutting uh, metal welding i have my welder here and also some machines that i'll add so i will make like a second workshop table separated from the one that i have inside and then the LED machine and the printers i'll have them here maybe create some sort of rack now that i have so much metal metal bars and i'm not sure if i already showed you but here below the stairs below the concrete uh, that we've made for the grass i have this storage which is quite ugly and is going upwards but my idea is to make like a rack here and store all those metal bars because if i place them like this one on top of each other it's very difficult to take it out so I'll make like a rack for the big uh, metal bars, medium and smaller uh, parts and have here some sort of storage. And I've also bought this storage unit for outside because it's made out of plastic so water won't enter. 
there you have it and it's empty for now but i'll start adding star stuff for welding and tools pretty nice for like 40 euros and here we have the water pump that i had down there this is the water pit for the rains and it has its own output output that goes directly to the to the water out of my uh, of my home and this water pump is quite expensive because it had the shredder down but you see it doesn't work actually it works but it makes my breaker jump all the time so i tried to fix it and someone already made some sort of silicon uh, insulation here so maybe water will enter but anyway i've made it even dry and it still jumps so i think that the capacitor is break broken so i've bought this floater and also the inside capacitor which i'll show in a moment and i'll make another video showing how to fix it and how this kind of pump works because i think it's quite interesting so maybe in a few weeks when i'll be fixing it because this costs like 600 euros i'll be showing you that video so for now i have like a smaller pump here inside which is a pump for pools but works the same way without a shredder and is made out of plastic instead of metal this is the new floater that i bought 15 euros and this i won't have to chop the wires because this is long enough to get inside of the pump and seal it with uh, some sort of resin or silicone and this is the special capacitor for this type of motor induction motor this costs like five dollars so for just twenty dollars i could fix a pump that maybe costs six hundred dollars so yeah in a future video i'll show you how it works and for the main electronics workshop there is not much update to make just that there is a mess i bought some new screens for my studio which i'll show you in just a moment and that's because i'm not sure what happened that i think that my cats broke one of them and since they are the same i had to buy two once again because i just came downstairs and i found like a big black spot in the middle of my screen so yeah i think my cats which right now we have another cat which is not ours but it got lost it's like a baby so i think that they got in a fight or something because there was like a black dot on the screen so i had to change them and now i have the other ones down there because maybe i'll add the screen here in the workshop because one still works i've also bought a lot of storages small containers which i, which I have down there and i want to use this that to fill the entire wall on this side with small components that i use for my electronics projects obviously this drill won't sit here because this is just for electronics and the wall for tools i have some of the racks made for some tools but i still haven't had time to add them and now if you're wondering what this tube is is the because here as you can see there is a lot of sun and a lot of heat here in the summer so i need an air conditioning and i don't have any space to add like a wall normal air conditioning so i bought one of these from a second hand store for only 50 dollars so what i've made is take the cool air with this tube and input it there for the studio because there that's where i stand more when editing and then the hot air will just come through this which is insulated and i'll take it just outside which for now i don't have a hole but i'll make a hole a permanent hole so with that i will take out the heat air the heated air and it has foam insulation inside of it and that's why i have it like this and also i want to 3d print something to not use tape but just place it here and take the cool air inside and now i think i should show you the studio okay don't judge me this is also a mess alexa enciende la luz del estudio so this is where I work right now. I'm working on my game, which I will also show you in a moment. I'm making a video game. And this bed won't be here. I want to add a couch. I also bought a mini fridge. And I have this here, which create a light, a background for my live streams. Alexa, apaga la luz del estudio. And not sure if you can see it. There you have it. I have like a cosmos and moon here, which also spins. And it also has like asteroids passing. So this is like a cool background for live streaming and also want to add some RGB lights. So this is quite cool to have it. I also have this background for green background to just drop it and make the courses or other live streams. I have the lights control with IoT and a ring light there and the input for the air conditioning is right here. So yeah, these are the new screens. These are curved. I found it at a sale on a page here in, in Spain. So yeah, I'll have like a small uh, chair here, my mini fridge, maybe with a sponsor, who knows, and just make live streams with electronics, gaming, and so on. So this is my man cave. <laughs> and by the way, the floor, Alexa, enciende la luz del estudio. The floor at the beginning, the floor at the beginning was like this, just cement, painted cement, but then I bought some 
like rubber floor and edit here and this is a lot better it's cleaner and it doesn't sound so only for the studio i have this kind of floor it's very easy to add and glue it in place and yeah sorry for the mess and yeah this is my studio for now and each time i'm improving it by the way sun hit this so much that it doesn't have any color it was blue because oh by the way this is also something that i've made i covered them with a special material that reflects light because look how much light it enters so it gets hot very fast anyway that's the update of the studio so guys i think that's it for the update of this week i will try to make a lot more updates and as you can see there is a lot of work especially with the storage i have to clean everything here and i also have a lot of plans for my new workshop for example i want like a long table here because every time that i have to cut metals that more than three meters i don't have enough space in that room or even here outside so for example when i was making the support for the solar panel i had to work with like long metal bars and hit everything on the wall so i need something to just have a wise and a cutter with a long length so maybe here i will make like a table that could get out of the wall and then just store it so yeah i have a bunch of ideas and also i was promised like a special machinery it's a laser welder it costs a lot i'm not sure if they will give it to me to review it and use it but it will it will be great to make a cnc machine with that laser cutter and cut metal parts with thicknesses without one centimeters or even more it will be, it will be very cool to have that machine here so hopefully they will give it to me and a lot of other projects to come i will have the solar panel project the wind turbine and some maybe i'll show you the project that i'm working on right now okay i will just give you like a quick a peek at what i'm working on this is just one component of the circuit the pcb that i've made i won't tell you what it is so just guess in the comment section below what this is what is for and what is the project about uh, i could tell you that this works with ultrasonic signals so guys see you in my next video my next update or any other kind of videos and if you want to support me check my patreon the links are below check my shop and maybe leave a comment below or give a like because that's what most pushes my videos thank you very much and keep up you guys